Giga Texas is 97.6% done, with a big announcement coming in a matter of days. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla Weekend. A big thanks to my newest Patriots, Jonathan, Justin, Mark, and channel producer Jeffrey. Your support means a lot to me. More on that on the end, but uh, for now, for everyone else, just subscribe, bell, smack the like button early so YouTube knows to actually show it to others. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get started. The final walls were put up enough to count the exterior as closed. So we'll have one last look at that, but there are a bunch of new things to cover. Solar panels, battery production, and a whole lot more. Let's get the progress graph out of the way. This was a lot of work to keep up along the way, you guys, and maintain over time, but it was honestly a lot of fun. So now I'm just kind of sad because there's nothing new to count. But that should change soon enough. So let's talk about what's new. Solar panels have arrived and they're already being placed on the roof awaiting installation. That's kind of a big deal. Tesla has been kind of slow to add these to factories in the past, so this is new and a very good sign. Joe Tetmeyer also captured new battery equipment being added to the cell production area which is in addition to the components that have already been installed. This suggests that there may already be some production of 4680 cells in Texas, since these are redundant machines. These are not the capacity, they are additional capacity. There's also a newly paved driveway going into the southern end of the building. It's asphalt, so this is likely temporary to facilitate heavy machinery and equipment in this part of the factory, so that is still underway. And the biggest news is the rumor from Wheelie Man on Twitter regarding a big announcement coming this week regarding Giga Texas. Now, normally I don't give rumors like this much weight, but the timing is right. All the pieces seem to be falling into place to begin the long-awaited ramp of production in the Lone Star State. So let's take one final look at the sitemap progress for the main emerald footprint and go through it as we always have a week of a week. I'll be posting this as its own standalone video soon since after this week there'll be nothing left to see on this part of the factory. So while that's running, a reminder that I recently previewed my 11-year production tracker, link in the description, which shows the two most bearish of the five models. So if you're interested in following the more aggressive and interesting ones, that's available to my Patreons who sign up or upgrade at the $25 level. The higher models include more interesting things, new factories, new vehicles, and a lot of stuff you just won't see the Wall Street analysts even considering. And of course, as always, thanks to Jeff Roberts for allowing use of his drone footage. So there it is, and there you go. As of January 3rd, Giga Texas, the future birthplace of Yo Cybertruck, is 97.6% done and will be complete, for lack of a better word, in just a few more weeks. It's already done in some capacity, but also won't be completely done until sometime quite a bit later, as more areas of the factory come online. At this point, it's more a matter of how you personally decide to count it, and it appears a production is imminent. And yes, the percentage done will continue to slow and drag out into April before hitting 100%, but production is likely to begin any day now, and once it does, the rest of the percentages to go kinda won't matter as much. I've taken this long tail into account, and will use the lessons learned along the way to hopefully make a better one next time. And a huge thank you to my Patreons who get early access, bonus content, an ad-free experience, and help keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month, and get exclusive access to the 11-year production model. Subscribe if you haven't to get notified, follow me on Twitter at 4K Podcast, and a smack of the thummy thing in either direction if you made it this far. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave your wisdom and suggestions in the comments below. And as always, my friends, stay tuned, stay juicy. 
and I simply cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity flop. And for those of you who stuck it out, here is your time and a half bonus pay. This area between the southern end of the building and the large retention pond is getting a lot of what appears to be final grading. There are already permit applications filed to extend the building another 500 feet into this space, though we don't know the timeline for that, and there's some new pavement work that suggests it's not coming right away. So do you think we're going to see construction beginning here? Or maybe this is where the freshly minted Model Ys will be loaded up for delivery? Let me know what you think, because I'm awfully curious.